Hello and welcome to a statue review for the Papa Parade Gargura from Hololive English. So a few days ago I put up a review for the Papa Parade Mori Calliope and today it's Gura's turn. So chances are if you're aware of VTubers you've probably heard or at least seen Gargura. Um, if you haven't, I, you know, appreciate the dedication to watching my videos anyway. Uh, so, this is undoubtedly probably the most anticipated pop-up, at least for the English side, as everybody's favourite shark girl. So as always, we'll take a look at the box quickly, and then I'll open it up and take a look inside. So we got the front, there is her name, Gargura, she is part of Hololive, Myth. Uh, which is the first English generation. Can't remember if I mentioned that, maybe. Got a QR code, which I think takes you to the Good Smile site, but I can't be sure. Bottom's pretty uh, blank, so is the side. And on the back, we do have, I don't know if this is like intentional or not, because they have very, um, very minimalist kind of colour displays at the back. Obviously, Gura's main colours are kind of like blue and light blue slash grey, but I do like the fact that red and white are also her thing, but almost look identical to the little uh, shark mouth on her hoodie there. Uh, anyway, right, I'm going to go open this up now and we'll take a look inside. Alright, I've removed her from the packaging and set her up on the base, so it's time to take a look in detail at this statue. So, <laughs> first off, I'm not fully sure. I think maybe it's because of like the tail and how sort of kind of long the uh, well wide I guess the statue is. But this base is a lot bigger than Mori's base, despite the fact that Mori's statue is sort of like taller and slightly heftier. I don't know. Um, but anyway, there we do have the newer pop up parade base which is a little more plain, it's not uh, coloured anymore, but it's also not hexagonal, so it takes up less room, which is always nice. This is definitely a lot bigger than the Mori one, but uh, I'll bring out Mori later just to compare at the end of the video. So, let's take a look in detail at the statue. So, we've got that thing that pop-ups sometimes do, which is kind of giving a translucent base to a foot, uh, because Gura is, of course, in like a dynamic pose. So we've got her uh, cute little boots. Am I right in saying, uh, maybe it's not this outfit then, but I swear there's some kind of illustrations I've seen that have small like life jacket kind of details on the side of her boots. Maybe it's not her original one. Maybe it's one of the later ones. Maybe it's the cat shark outfit. I can't remember. But anyway, very, very fitting. White and blue kind of like boots almost. Oh, it's even got the little... Um, I can't remember what they're called now, but you know those like ringlet things at the back of boots that help you put them on. Uh, anyway, so moving on up, we... <laughs> oh, I never noticed that. I don't know if this is a thing that's kind of exclusive to the um, statue, maybe, but it looks like the shark is drooling. Like, th there's actual texturing to it as well. It is an extra, an extra like, layer. That's interesting. Okay, anyway, she's got the cute little sewn pockets, I guess, where she keeps things. Where does she keep? Who knows? Uh, but yeah, we do have the iconic shark mouth on the side of the hoodie there. Uh, genuinely, I think this is one of the like best little details that I've seen in any VTuber design, really. It, it, it just sort of like, it conveys the shark theme without being too on the nose, but also, I don't know, quite charming. And then, round to the back, it's time for the good stuff, the shark tail. Uh, not to be confused with the Will Smith animated uh, movie from the early 2000s. Uh, and as we can see, she does have like stitches, I wanna say, on one of her fins, cause she did get in fights, and uh, there's, there's like a bite mark, I guess, at the back there. She is hundreds of years old. Yes, that's right, all of the FBI watching. Gargura is hundreds of years old. Uh, we've also got the shark fins here, uh, which I think they're meant to be attached to the hoodie and not to her, because, yeah, it doesn't come, uh, like, round the back, because otherwise one of them would be sticking out very painfully. Actually, is the tail attached to the hoodie as well? I think it is. She is wearing shorts, so don't worry. Um, 
Yeah, maybe. I don't know. Maybe she does have a... She is technically an Atlantean, so I guess it would make sense if she had a tail. Uh, we've got little uh, things coming off, like the uh, the neck area of the hoodie. I don't know. Don't I don't know what they're even for. They look like fasteners, but I don't know what they'd even fasten to. But I do like the whole like dynamic look of it. That that one's in motion and stuff. Also, the um, quote-unquote fabric effect on the hoodie is really cool. I love the little ripples. She's obviously wearing an oversized hoodie. Not massively oversized, but definitely a, a size or two too big. We've got her hand there and uh, some bare arm, uh, or a shark arm, I suppose. <laughs> uh, does she have nail? Oh, yeah, they're blue. Right, actually, I think you'll be able to see on this hand a little bit easier. Are her nails painted? They are. They're painted blue. There you go. That was the important thing. So, yeah, we've got both sides of her uh, arms there. She's saying hello. And then, we well, we'll look at the face first. So the face, much like Maury's, I think is like, I'd say 95% accurate. It's a little bit, maybe it's because she's 3D or something, but, like, the eyes and the nose and mouth are, like, I look a little bit different, but I think that's because she's molded and not like a V2 model, which is always, you know, perfectly lighted and everything. Um, and then we've got her sort of multicolored hair, sort of grey with streaks of blue. And the thing that I love most about her outfit, uh, her Gen 1 outfit, is the like shark uh, hoodie kind of thing. It is really cool i love this bit of design uh yet again there's more fins attached to this uh and the little button eyes i think they're meant to be button anyway i don't know if that white is a bit of paint rub or if it's meant to be there i'm not sure and on the back she does have the x to mark again that she's been sort of well i, I guess it's sort of like fight marks because you know she is a shark and sharks get in fights a lot but yeah so that is a detailed look at Galgura. Now I'm going to go off and take some photos uh, and put them in a montage. So here we go. Alright, I am back and I've taken some photos. So yeah, I've got to admit, the Gura statue is incredibly cute as well. Uh, it's appropriately scaled to the Mori statue, as you saw in that last photo there. She is a lot shorter and just a lot cuter, sort of. I think both of the pop-up parade statues do a great job in kind of translating the unique charms of each of the girls because Mori looks pretty cool and badass and Gura looks absolutely adorable. She's got the oversized hoodie and uh, much like Mori as well, I the other thing I like about these being in statue forms is you see all of the details you don't necessarily see very often in streams or other stuff such as the pockets or her sort of slightly ripped tail or whatever, and the fins. Yeah, overall, this is adorable. Uh, much like the Mori one, I presume if you're a Gura fan, you either own this already, or it's one of those things that's kind of unfortunately out of stock everywhere. I feel like she's popular enough, there's probably going to be reissues and stuff, though. Um, and as with the Mori one, let me know in the comments below if you own this or any of the other Myth Girls as well. Uh, I do have another Gura thing coming up. Can you guess what it is? You'll have to wait and see. Um, but yeah, this about wraps up the review. I am a big fan of this, and as with the Mori one, I will be putting it on my Hololive shelf, which I might put a picture up on social media somewhere, if I remember. Um, but as always, I will be doing more statue reviews and other things in the future, so stick around for that. And until next time, goodbye.